Welcome to my lecture online. Now we're ready to do some review exercises. We've learned all the various rules involving lines and circles and find the angles between the lines and the circles, so to speak. Now, let's go ahead and apply that to some of these review exercises. So we'll click them off, probably two at a time. And here are our first two examples, set one. And here we have something kind of strange. We're trying to find this value for this angle right there, C, O, D. And at first you may be lost. You look at that and go, how do I find the angle? Because I do not know the arc length from C to D. I do not know the arc length from A to B. So how am I going to figure that out? Well, it turns out we're given the clue that the line from B to C is parallel to the line from A to D. If that is the case, we can then conclude that the measure of the arc length from A to B must equal the measure from arc length from C to D. Because from A to D, that's the diameter, so any other line, any secant line drawn parallel to the diameter is such that then the resulting two arc lengths must be equal in measure. And so therefore we can call this, uh, let's see, we already used the letter X, so let's call the letter Y and actually no, because what I can do here is I know that the value for this angle here must equal the arc length here. So I can say that this must therefore be X degrees, and the other side this must then also be equal to X degrees. And of course we know that the top half right here from A to B to C to D, that is a semicircle. Therefore it subtends an angle of 180 degrees. So we can then say that X degrees plus 48 degrees plus X degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Subtracting 48 from both sides, adding the two x's together, we get 2x degrees is equal to 180 minus 48 degrees. Or 2x degrees is equal to, let's see, that would be equal to 132 degrees. So therefore, divide both sides by 2, and we get x degrees equals 66 degrees. So that's how we find the value for x. Now the second example is actually quite a bit easier because here we know that the measure of angle A or the measure of angle from B to A to C must equal one half the measure of the angle from B to O to C since this angle is made from a point starting at the center of the circle and this angle is made from a point starting on the very edge of the circle and they subtend the same arc length from B to C. Therefore we know we can say that. And the measure from B to A to C is equal to x degrees. That must equal one half times the measure from B to O to C which is 105 degrees which means that therefore x degrees must equal 52.5 degrees. And there you go, that is how we find the solution to those two. So that wasn't too bad, again, it always comes down to relying on the rules that you know involving those circles. So um, the next couple, probably a little bit more challenging, so stay tuned and we'll give you some additional review exercises to work with. And that is how it's done.